Okay, we are going to talk about the blog now. So let's jump in. Hmm, where am I? Maybe we'll jump in. There we go. Okay. Let's share. Why is my thing not coming up? Hold on a second, guys. Sorry. Share screen. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> Okie dokie. So we're going to go talk about the blog now. So the blog is kind of a tricky little beast. Um, it has taken, it took a while for me to figure out, but um, it is a really, really, really handy tool. So one of the first things that um, you know, if you're buying or getting a free template on show it, you'll probably have posts that look about like this, where you have a picture, you have the title, categories, and an excerpt, and read more. You also have page navigation, uh, pretty just, you know, kind of simple and standard. There is a lot that you can do with the blog posts. Um, and I'm not only going to cover the basics right here, but, um, but yeah, there's a lot that you can do. So what you're probably going to want, first of all, is you're going to want a featured image. And let's pull up. Oh, sorry. CLW. So um, when you have a blog with Show It, what happens is you have, a, you have the template that you create um, you know, show it side, just like you did for the rest of your website. And then you also have your WordPress admin section. So we're going to use this particular blog post. Actually, let's use a test. No, let's use this one. No, we'll use a test. <laughs> okay. So here's a test. And, um, yeah, so basically what happens is that you, on your show it side, you can choose the things that WordPress auto-populates. For instance, you can choose to auto-populate this with an image, and um, you can auto-populate this with the title. So what it'll do is that you see this one is already tagged post title. This one is also a WordPress featured image. And what that means for the image is it means that this image down here is your featured image. WordPress, when they show your blog, it's going to auto-populate that with your featured image. So here is kind of just what it looks like in real life. So here you go. See, here are a couple of the blog posts. Here is that test again. This is the one that we are currently looking at. So this one she has as a featured, you know, featured image or a featured blog post. And currently it's just pulling from her most recent one. So these three are going to be her most recent blog posts. And then from here on down are going to be her normal ones. So <clears throat> this, you know, all of these are different featured images. And they are all just the featured image that she has down here in her WordPress backend. So that is the first thing. So in order to have a featured image, what you need to do is you need to post an image on your site. So you just do that through the media gallery. Click on that select an image and add to page. So we'll pretend that's this one. And then what you want to do is you want to select this WordPress featured image and that will create it so that it shows up as the featured image. Pretty easy, right? Um, otherwise, as far as that goes, if you'd like, you can link it. So the click actions, normally, you know, we have none click actions. If you would like, you can have it link directly to the WordPress post that it is um, associated with. So if I click on this photo, what happens is it takes me to the blog post. The next thing that you can do is you can, <clears throat> you want the title. That's a definite thing. You also always want the title. So for this, what you would do is you would go in, you choose, you know, what kind of thing you want. And um, you can do the text style however you'd like. Text properties 
you're going to see that there is a WordPress section and it's the placeholder is going to be the post title. You can do all kinds of different things. You can have the author, the date, um, a content, like you can show the entire content on this page. You can show just an excerpt, which is what this is. This is the post excerpt. And what it does is it will show a certain amount of characters and then it'll show a little ellipses, which you can see right here. See? Um, so you can do excerpts, you can do all kinds of stuff, comments, categories, etc. So there is lots of stuff that you can do there. Here is another one. This is the read more. And what happens with this, we do not have the WordPress placeholder. What we do have is the link to the WordPress post. So anything that you want to post, anytime that you want it to click to the actual post, um, you want to have it click to the post. In this regard, in this one, this one automatically just goes to it anyway. So, so yeah, pretty cool. These ones will go to the, so if you click on this category, it'll take you to all of the uncategorized categories. That's kind of neat. Um, yeah, about it. So that's just kind of generally like the really, really bare bones basics of how to create a blog. I would love to do a blog series on how to actually like really create a lot of cool things. Right now we can actually go into this featured post one and I can show you guys how to do this. So with featured posts and views, it's a lot different than the views that we've been talking about otherwise. So featured post views are, um, they're actually shown all together. So when we go back to, let's say the experience page, we have a couple different types of views. We have this view that um, I can scroll through. We have this view that auto, auto scrolls. And we even have the contact page, which you know is this view, and then when you send it, it goes to the thank you view. So those are three different types of views that we've already seen. Here is the view from the blog. So each of these things are three different views. It's one view, view one, view two, view three. And when you're doing this in your back end, it still shows as view one, view two, and view three. But when it populates, obviously, in the blog, it populates them all together. And so I'll show you how to do that because this is kind of a really cool way to have this like, you know, featured section or what's new on the blog, something like that. So the way that you do this, and you can only do this, I believe, in the actual blog, you know, this WordPress um, sections. But the way to do this is you go to, we'll go back to the page and we'll go to view, and we can do the same, we can set it up the same. We have the title image, or sorry, the tide post title. We have just a, you know, this is just a featured, I don't even think, yeah, it doesn't click anywhere. It just is a normal header. Um, we have the post excerpt. And we have a read more post, which clicks to the WordPress post itself. We even, you know, I think, oh, never mind, this doesn't post. Anyway, so yeah, so we have those th things. We have the title, excerpt, and read more. Um, and then we just embellished it with a rectangle. The shape uh, style is 80 with or is our, one of our colors. It's opaque. And then we have the border color, which is, you know, one pixel. And we also have this photo layered behind that, which is clicked as our featured image. So um, to get this effect, what you want to do is you want to add your photo, put this rectangle over the top of it, see how it's on top, layered on top, and then you can select the WordPress featured image so that it is specifically the image of that particular blog post. Okay, so that's our view one. What I'm going to do is I would actually duplicate so that we would have view two. And then what I would do is I would select all of this stuff and move it because what would happen is that it'll go, oops, if we duplicate it, it'll just stack right on top of this. So what I would do is I would then take this and you know move it to where I want it to move to. So you would have view one and you have view two. Well, we already have that, so I'm gonna delete that one. But we have view one, view two, and view three. So basically, I've just duplicated all of them. What I want to do is, now that we're in this canvas view, I don't have any of these in particular things selected. I'm just gonna select the canvas and what we're going to do is we are going to go to the canvas. We are going to have it um, in post loop. We're going to show this WordPress canvas once. 
um, which means basically we, if we don't click that, then what will happen is that one, two, and three will be the three most recent posts, but then we will also have one, two, and three down here as well. So um, in order to show this only one time, does that make sense? Like we want to, it to um, only show it once. So let's see, I can show you what that, uh, no, I can't actually. I probably could, but we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> so we wanted to show only once, unless you do, like if you do want it to have, you know, these three in a row right here, and then also again down here, then you can definitely do that. But if for this purpose, I just want them to only be um, up here. These could be like, you know, new on the blog basically. So show this WordPress canvas once, and then combine views as posts. So we want each of these views to be combined as posts as opposed to having it be kind of like that auto, you know, that auto, um, auto advance where it's actual like real views that we've used throughout the rest of the website. We want them to be combined as posts. And I believe that is it for that one. So pretty simple way to create a, you know, a featured page or a new on the blog page or, you know, canvas um, is just making sure that you have these posts, they're in different views, and that they all are combined as posts, combined views as posts, and that they need to be in post loop. So this one, for this canvas, we also, this is our regular blog, we also want this to be in post loop. We don't need to worry about that, we don't need to worry about that. Um, otherwise, that's I think about it for the actual blog posts. Um, what that is going to tell WordPress, having it in post loop, basically what happens is that when you go into your WordPress page, you can actually go to, let's see, I think it is settings, reading. You can tell WordPress to only show five or 10 or however many posts that you want. And that is what um, basically will happen. So these things are in post loop. And then as soon as the page has reached X amount of blog posts, however many you want, it will stop and it will show those page navigations that we have right here, previous posts and next posts. So for this particular example, we only have five blog posts showing and um, our WordPress is set to only show five. So we, you know, we don't have the page navigation down here, but once it, once it continues, um, basically show it will say, okay, WordPress has told me to only show five, so let's activate this page navigation. So this one is just a static content, um, but basically, yeah, so, and you can see that the canvas still technically shows up, I believe, yeah, pretty sure, yeah. The canvas still shows up, but these next and previous posts don't. So the way, again, this is just through the text properties, older post links and newer post links. And again, WordPress knows, you know, it says, okay, well, we don't have any newer or older, so I don't need to show these. So that's kind of it. WordPress does a lot of the, um, you know, the behind the scenes stuff. So you don't really have to worry too much about that. Um, yeah, just as long as everything is appropriately labeled. Let's see, anything else specifically with the blog right now? Pretty much as long as you have the excerpt, the title, the photo, and then a way to, you know, a button to read more, that's pretty much all you really need. The next and previous you also should really have in a separate canvas is good. Um, yeah, because this canvas particular will duplicate itself as many times as you tell WordPress to. So. That's about it. Single post is pretty much the same thing. Comments, honestly, I have never done the comments. I would just leave that <laughs> to the, um, you know, whatever template you end up using. I would just kind of leave it how it is. But with the um, single post, you can really do all kinds of the same stuff. This is just the title. Again, what you want this to be is you want it to display. You want the over to overflow to display. And you also want the canvas itself to grow with content. That way, if you have a really long blog post title, this box will actually grow to fit it, to fit how long you need it to be. And the, um, the text style will actually display it. 
versus say, if we want to go back to this blog post and maybe, you know, maybe we have this section, we only want it to be, um, these two lines and we don't want it to go any longer than that. Cause then it'll start bumping into this other stuff. We can crop it or let's say in this one, maybe we only want it to be one line long. And after that, if it's still longer than that, we can, um, we want it to just only display the single line or a single line with ellipses. So stuff you can do with that overflow and um, also the grow with content. So grow with content, this one um, in particular, again, that way this one displays the entire post title and that this canvas also grows as the post title grows. Hmm, let's see, so yeah, and then we have the date again, just text properties. You can choose what date format you want it to be in. We have the categories, which again is post categories. WordPress will auto-populate that with whatever category you have included. And then here is the actual post content. And the post content will show everything that you have. So, you know, for this particular, this is just a little, you know, single post template. I'll show you what that looks like for real. And this is what it looks like for real. So these are, you know, this is WordPress actually auto-populating with different headers. And your headers um, that you have in your, in your, you know, if you label something as a header back in your actual post, um, it will auto-populate with the design setting that you have. So see over here we have the design settings. This header 2, H2, is this style. In the actual blog post that she has, we have the same header 2 style. So she has decided that this should be a header. And then what show it does is it says, okay, well, this is a header. I know what the heading should look like. So this is what it will look like. And it'll auto populate with that. And then pictures, she actually has this in her blog post. So that is how that will populate. So that is how um, WordPress kind of does it itself. And then again, this is the comments thing that um, I just told you just to leave alone <laughs> because I don't ever touch it. And it's kind of just already built in like that. So it's kind of cool. Um, I think that is about it. So that's a really basic blog overview. We can get more into the details of it later. You know, maybe we can do some really cool additional things. If anybody has questions, absolutely drop them um, or email me at info at copperkettleco.com and I'd love to go over that stuff with you. Okay, so that is it guys. Thank you so much and we'll do some more later.